Oh, you're still watching Waze now, Planet Red Planet Day. <laughs> As on November 28, recognizes the planet which has captivated human observers for countless years. Um, that's Mars. Right now, we know that Mars is red. And um, thanks to... Okay, so I think we're having some issues with my teleprompter today. <laughs> All right, so on Red Planet Day, we celebrate our fascinating um, features that we see on the Mars and also alongside scientific uh, advancement into understanding the dusty planet. Who is looking forward to going to Mars? Elsie, are you? Well, it's an interesting planet. I mean, um, there has been three previous attempts from what I'm seeing to um, fly by Mars, and there was a successful one, which I think is the fourth one. I mean, I don't know a lot about these things, but it's an interesting thing. I mean, it's also nice. Do you look forward to go into space? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not really enjoying this Earth. <laughs> I don't like, there's a lot of things happening on this Earth that I've not, I've not even been able to tap into. We are still growing, begging God, let's, you know space it's okay it's all right i mean me, i encourage those who are me, like, i was just going even, to say that it makes sense to sort of know about your environment and then if you're then looking at it on a global view then mass is like the environment when it comes to mm. the earth itself right so it makes sense i support those who are in that journey. i don't support it because um, the amount of money that me, you, that is spent to okay. go to space there's too much poverty in the land. That money would be put to better use, mm -hmm. as far as I am concerned. I know, but then there will always be poverty, you know. I know, there will always be poverty, but that can go a long way. To reduce the gap, Absolutely. Yeah? I think the gap is where the It's too is. wide. Yeah. All right, so um, your story quickly. My story is a feel-good story. You know, I came back from having a lot of fun, so <laughs> I need to give shout-out to everybody that is happy and was, um, a, was not a contributor to that fun. First is, I was so happy for Rita Dominic. She got married, or she wedded her sweetheart yeah. over the weekend in the UK, and I loved the whole... I think it's, there's something cute about having your wedding. You know, destination castle. wedding. In, not just destination, that's castle and all those vibes in the UK. I'm beginning to think about it. You know, I was saying I'm not a wedding flower, but those castles... I, um, I think the other person who did something like that was um, Stephanie Linus, Stephanie right? Linus and did her in Paris. And even when she out, she brings out that video from... I think 10 years ago now, it's mm -hmm. still so beautiful to see, right? And I'm seeing the videos from Rita Dominic's own now, and it's just so beautiful. I'm so happy for her. Um, she's not letting age stop her from anything. Like, she's getting her fairy tale wedding. She was really having and so I'm, much I fun. I can see the fun, both of them, actually. Like, we saw a different part of um, the, the husband. husband this time. When it was happening in um, Imo State, it was as if he was not there. People were, like, people were people terrorizing were him. him. Maybe they were giving him B, left, right, center. Oh, mother. You know, you, you car, people now. Car. But, you know, in the UK, he was just so fun. All the videos I've been seeing, I'm so happy. They had her. fun. I'm so happy. And yeah, her bridesmaid, did you see the bouquet? Sure. The bouquet tossing? She gave to Mitchell. They did right? Yeah, they she gave to Mitchell. Yeah, long, long time. time. That's her best I mean, and yeah. it's so interesting, guys. So Ketensho, Ketensho. She's the life no, of the party. she's always the life of the party. Ah, she's surprised. the life of, as in, she had Chama so Chibuka much. Chama was our... She was our steady updater. Do you understand? <laughs> so, I'm, I'm so happy that mm. happened. Um, few people were invited, and it was an intimate wedding, but everybody was just so happy for her. So, mm. I'm glad she's doing this now. I'm, I'm happy this is happening. Matured love, you know what I mean? And then, of course, influencer by Millenary. He got married. Yeah, you were at the days. wedding. I was at the wedding. I give them hot hot like you know <laughs> and yeah that's my you went wedding. you went there on the mission happy wedding anniversary i've been saying that wedding anniversary happy, happy married life right <laughs> yes to all of them it yeah. was just so beautiful yeah yeah so you had you had a mission, no, I didn't have a mission. for that one those states but i wanted to yeah, say that in the people. spirit of being happy uh -huh. i'm really happy that genevieve came out you oh know. yeah that picture, yeah i yeah? saw the picture on mm -hmm. your status as well i saw mm -hmm. it, i went on her instagram and i saw it on her story, on her story yeah. i'm so happy that she's okay mm -hmm. i mean she looked really well well yeah. rested and all of that i'm just praying she gave a speech at the mm. what's the events now it's uh, an event for um entertainers movies right mm. something kids i can't remember the right yeah. pronunciation now but i'm really happy for her yeah 
Our I'm happy she made an appearance. Yes, <laughs> I'm really happy, honestly. Yeah. All right, so my story is, I mean, I saw it like... Also, sorry, Go ahead. the spirit of coming to the good news, David made his first appearance. Oh, yes, that's after true. After the demise of his son. Yes. Um, just to inaugurate um, the uncle's inauguration. Yeah. So that was also... Him and the wife. I think this weekend was just a lot of feel good mm. story. We didn't have too many bad news. So yeah. Yeah. Media Sadly, there was a bad news: um, the death of Samuel Poso. Ah, okay. Yeah, the gospel artist. Was that on a Saturday? It happened on the twenty. Tw on yeah, on Saturday. Oh. Yeah, it happened on wow. Saturday. Okay. It happened on Saturday. Was it There's Saturday? Of, was it Saturday? No, it was, I think it was that. Friday. In terms of it was on Friday he died. He died yeah. on Friday. So in terms of people's opinion, a lot of back and forth. Maybe we should. I mean, just that we are winding down mm. here, it would have been a good conversation to have in terms of. Um, how the church should chastise their members or even their ministers when it, when things like this mm. happen. Um, I I know of some ministers that of course I'm not going to call names that are even doing worse than he's been caught doing now. And I mean it's it's a complicated conversation. I know that we are all human beings, but sometimes a little self control is really needed. You know, mm. so I wish that we could have that conversation. But we have tried for Nigeria this year. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's see, I look forward to we my holiday. <laughs> Three weeks, you shall not see me. Film, in fact, I will not even go online. Oh That's how bad God. it is. Oh, so, I mean, I, as I was saying, I, I, I saw this and I was like, hey, which kind of wala is this one? More? In fact, I even look forward to asking our guests about this because mm -hmm. um, there were attacks, series of attacks on mm -hmm. INEC offices, still in the local area. So the independent um, electoral commission's um, boss has mm -hmm. come out to say, um, the chairman, that's Mahmoud Yakubu, has said that um, that all the incessant attacks on its local government offices across the state, that it was a really big loss to the commission, um, and said that it, it, it will also recover from the losses from the attack. And this will not um, be condoned. Um, um, it will not be condoned going forward, the rising attacks on its facilities. So I don't even know how this would impact, because... Again, if you hear what was lost, especially there was a particular place, and I can't remember, but I read it in passing. It talked about ballot, um, uh, what's it called, papers, different items that will be used for the elections, all destroyed. So how do we even start to recover from that? And would this, this would definitely impact the elections. I am very sure about that. But he has said that um, they will recover, or they can recover. And I mm. like that he's saying that and giving us an optimistic view. Um, such loss is not is not anything to be expected or looking forward to. Yes, it will impact, but I'm also thinking of the people that you would likely say they are the ones behind it. Because I don't think any electorate now, like a regular human being, you and I, We'll be thinking of going to vandalize the INEC office, right? Mm. The finger points to those it will point at, and we all know them. So I don't understand why we're having politicians and leaders that have gotten to a point where their level of corruption is so mm. disgusting. The tension is high. Right? It, I mean, the tension is high, <laughs> it's but very play, clear. you are playing the game already. You are mm. watching them do their thing. Play the game and let the people vote. Why, why are we doing what we are doing right now? Because you can't tell me that one hungry person went to steal an eye neck. Is he going to eat paper? It's not possible. It's those who have something to lose. Those with skin in the game that are doing this. And we need to really think because mm. there's a video that is spreading of that young Gen Z girl that is giving her parents words. Serious for, words. I mean, I wish we could play that video, but some of the words she used, it is, were too, just, yeah. you know. But you cannot blame her because the things that these people have grown up hearing it's mm. just ridiculous. Snake is eating money. Rat mm. is eating money. Everything you can't be accountable. No, but we need to. Wait. That will be our conversation to tomorrow. Respect, actually, yeah. Right. We we have really failed mm. the generation to come, and mm. we need to begin to do better from Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Really. Let's bring in our guest. Um, according to INEC, it says three local governments in the last three weeks have been attacked. So it would be nice to know what this will be, how it will impact the elections. Um. So, but we'll go on a very quick break now. When we come back from the break, we'll be discussing rebranding of the Naira and how it's going to impact the elections. Stay with us.